People sometimes ask me, Fox, I want to play HOTS, but I hate myself and others. Is there a hero for me? Oh yeah, lots. What kind of anger are you looking to inspire today? Annoyance? Frustration? Reasonable and justified? Oh, I see. True, genuine, dark rage. Good taste. You should play Butcher, the biggest sink or swim hero in the game. You're either dead weight or the one starting and finishing all the team fights. People will tie your worth directly to your meat counter and won't be shy about commenting on what you're doing at all times. It's so fun being judged by people who can't think ahead like five minutes. Do I expect too much from randoms? Everyone is watching Butcher. Meat's important, true, but his true power lies in how much attention he commands. You also need to be willing to throw yourself away for the benefit of your team. Survival is optional. If your team wins the fight, does it really matter that you died? Besides, if your crybaby teammates are that invested in you getting stacked, then maybe they could take a few deaths off your plate be the bait once in a while? There's way more meat in heroes than minions. Even getting a kill and dying is still a net positive for Butcher. As long as you pick up the meat. Because I'm gonna be real with you guys, if your Butcher has been asking for help, even if he's out of line, even if he's obnoxious, he's trying to work with you. Because he knows better than anyone who's gonna get the blame when things start going bad. So if you alienate your Butcher, he has no choice but to go vegan. He doesn't want to hopefully. But he doesn't trust you anymore. And a butcher that doesn't trust his team is a butcher that doesn't show up to team fights. Yes, he's a meathead, but he still feels things. Look at it from his perspective. He started the game all bright-eyed, full of hope, dreaming of mountains of meat, his first charge brimming with confidence. Alas. But it didn't get him down. He tried again, and again, and again. But all he got to eat that day were insults and failure. Now he's scared, and he's hungry, and he's alone. He needs you. We need you. For only $2 a month, you can sponsor a butcher player, guaranteeing a daily meal and belly rubs so that he can stay brave, healthy, and strong to charge the enemy team and keep making HOTS videos. Subscribe. You know what they say, it takes a village. Better to support your butcher over letting him go off and do his own thing. You're not Nazebo, stop farming minions. It only takes 10 picks to stack, not including any of the minion meat you pick up along the way. Just wipe the enemy team twice. Did you know that if butcher does nothing but stack off of minion waves for a whole game, assuming he farms perfectly, it will take 14 and a half minutes to reach 200 stacks? Look, proof. You have 15 minutes to work with before your team's insults are actually valid. Once Butcher is stacked, he goes from this to this. Time to risk it for the biscuit. The increase in damage comes with an increase in survivability, which is all very nice, but Butcher's power lies not in his meaty slaps, but in how brain dead he is. Butcher is one of the most predictable heroes in the game. Predictable doesn't mean bad. You can use the simplicity of the kit to get into the heads of the other team. You know what Butcher does. You know what Butcher wants. Your enemies know too. So you know that they know, and they know that you know, but they may not know that you know that they know, and they know Butcher, but they don't know you, and because they know Butcher but not you, they can't know everything, so even if they know that you know that they know, you know that you can use what you know to your advantage. Ruthless Onslaught is the main tool you'll be using to manipulate the enemy team. On activation, Butcher charges towards his target, becoming unstoppable and assaulting the enemy's ears. If he connects, this poor soul will be stunned for one second before getting the meat slapped off their bones. Onslaught is the one trick everyone's waiting for, either to follow up on or save your target. No one wants to be on the receiving end of the charge. Doubly true when you're stacked. At that point, you might find targets hard to come by as people are wisely hiding in the fog. But that's good. That's the point. Keep them afraid. Fear creates space, and space leads to victory. A fake charge here, an overcommitment there, can keep people guessing. Whoops, sorry. If no one knows what you're going to do, then you know they can't know that you know that they know that Butcher's Brand is this hero's second most important ability. It reliably comes out after a charge. Butchers literally live or die by the brand. Marking a foe with W deals a tiny bit of damage and will heal Butcher for three quarters of the damage he deals to the target for four seconds. Basic attacks extend this duration so you best be stuttered stepping for maximum uptime. You can be sure whoever is marked will be trying their hardest to move away from Butcher to deny the insane sustain it provides. So use Hamstring to stick to that pig. It's an incredibly fast, short-range skill shot that damages and slows enemies. It also resets Butcher's attack animation, causing him to smack his target immediately after using this ability. Helpful for sticking to heroes, revealing stealthies, and a quick splash of burst damage. Lamb to the Slaughter gives Butcher a new trick to keep his first one company. A secondary engage on a ranged silence and pseudo route adds another level to Butcher's already strong aura. Great for catching people off guard. Lamb from the bushes. Charge one enemy and just kidding, I was going for you the whole time. Not that this ability can't be counted 
countered or mitigated, but it adds one more thing for the enemy to worry about. Why would you even pick this? It's so bad. Yeah, damage is good and more damage is better, and I'm sure you remember and can tell me all about the three times that Furnace Blast has helped you secure a kill. Just answer me this. Have you ever played against a Butcher, seen him take Furnace Blast and thought, Oh fuck, we're dead. No. No, you haven't. It's such a relief when enemy butchers take this ult, because that means there's one less crowd control on the board to worry about. Furnace Blast is all in. Butchers will only take this if they think it will guarantee the pick, or if they're desperate for damage. It's the HOTS equivalent of smashing your head against a brick wall, and instead of grabbing the sledgehammer, you just put on a helmet. Getting pinned in place and silenced for three seconds out of nowhere is way scarier and way more dangerous than Furnace Blast. You're trading all that utility to go haha boom. Most of the time when heroes get away from Butcher, it's not because they have an unkillable amount of hit points, but because they're using their abilities. Plus, what's more damage, 500 after 3 seconds, or your whole team dogpiling on one helpless person? They'll probably explode before you do. Whatever man, I just wanna have fun. Games are about having fun, and I wanna have it. Don't you like having fun? Yes, and that's a fair point. All I have to say to that is, winning is fun. Winning is fun. Butcher is a simple hero with a simple job, to keep a hold of people's attention, and to force trades. Like Zul'jin, your job is to do as much damage as possible before being sent back to your core. Death is your friend, fear is your ally. You will get a smooth brain teammate from time to time that takes every death personally, but you can't expect someone like that to understand basic math. Playing Butcher is a promise. When you pick him, you'll say, I will make sure that everyone is focused on me so that you, my team, can achieve victory. Butchering is a thankless job and the hero gets a lot of hate. You'll be insulted and abused, and it takes a lot more calculation and self-sacrifice than you would expect from our little meathead, but if you do everything right, you'll be rewarded with a nice fat W on that match history. 